The epitome of keep calm and carry on. William and Kate were in Bradford. The soap opera around Harry and Meghan was not going to stop them. And how was the uh, summit at oh. Sandringham? Dodging that question in front of a largely supportive crowd. Things are changing. I mean, it's still nice to have the, you know, the old traditions with the royal family, but, you know, it's a younger generation coming in. Well, every family has problems, you know. It's, it's their business, it's their business only. One of the main reasons that the Queen wants this to be sorted out so quickly is so that it doesn't continue to overshadow important engagements like this. The problem is Harry and Meghan are now huge international stars, so we can only expect that clash between different engagements by the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family to continue. The noise around Harry and Meghan isn't dying down. We saw the first picture of Meghan in Canada visiting a women's centre in Vancouver, while husband Harry announced the next Invictus Games. This year, we are heading to The Hague. You get the sense this is a couple looking forward to having more control. I think one of the big things for them is about, you know, looking at international charities, looking at charities in America, using their star power to really create a force for good that might have been quite restricted when they were part of that sort of famous Fab Four. Working together was the rather appropriate theme of the day. William's thoughts on community spirit may be a nod to the divides in his own family. Sometimes trying to get people to understand that it's okay to have these challenges, but we just need to deal with them and we need to move forward rather than just be stuck in paralysis and pretend they're not, they don't happen. Boxer Amir Khan joined William and Kate to focus on encouraging closer race relations. As behind the scenes, there are still those who believe that Meghan has been the subject to racism from the British press. Well, I don't think England is a racist country. I mean, we've been living here, we, we are well respected. And I hope they sort all the issues out, really. I, look, I've, I've been in a position like that myself a long, long time ago where, you know, you, are, you do feel unwanted, but I'm sure they'll, they'll get to the bottom of it and hopefully things get better. This is a couple who have very traditional roles ahead of them, ready to pick up the baton from older members of the family, as we still wait to see how this is all going to play out for his brother. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in Bradford.